The exercises taking place at Kigali International Airport, the Rana Military Hospital, as well as the Kanombe and Remerambogo Hospital, saw the National Ebola Preparedness Mission hit a new peak. Having a rapid and efficient response system in place to fight a possible outbreak is the main goal for the mission, which aims at finding out what the capacity is to contain the virus. According to the Minister of Health, the Honorable Agnes Binaguaho, Rwanda has been learning from the catastrophe in West Africa, where more than 5,000 people have perished from the worst Ebola outbreak ever. What uh, Rwanda have decided as a whole is to take all the lessons of the current uh, catastrophe in West Africa to be ready beyond this catastrophe. Seven teams for rapid intervention. They are not going to dissolve even if the tragedy is out of Africa. You understand? They will be there, prepare for the next one because they will, we have to be ready. The process involved everything from a simulated Ebola patient with symptoms of nose bleeding, vomiting and high fever, to being evacuated from the airport under safety to receive treatment at the quarantine sites. Officials from the Ministry of Health, the Rwanda National Police and the Rwanda Defence Force all took part in the exercises. Since we knew who, and indeed, the whole idea of exercise in Unoko, tomorrow this is going to happen. The whole idea of the exercise, you know, the weaknesses, and then we improve on them as, as we go along. Doctors, psychologists, nurses, and equipment such as ambulances are all in place to handle any outbreak, and the aim remains to be able to safely evacuate individuals into areas where they can receive treatment. We have health professionals in all, uh, at all borders. Uh, and um, an, um, a scenario to evacuate and to transport the potential sick person. As the saying goes, better safe than sorry. Regis Isheja, Rise and Shine Rwanda. I said